Hi everyone, this is uh, Tony from Tony's Astro Journey and I'm here with my first unboxing. I'm very excited to announce that I ordered my first uh, go-to mount uh, and it is a Celestron Advanced VX Equatorial Mount ordered from High Point Scientific, a company I highly endorse and recommend by the way. Customer service is excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. I kind of got started already, but just to open the box up here so you can get a look inside in terms of the contents of the package. Okay, and right here we have the instructional booklet. I'll just go ahead and set that to the side like so. And let's see what else we have. This, must, this is pretty heavy, so this must be the, the counterweight. Let's take a look at that. Okay, it's uh, well packaged. Everything is well packaged. And all these slow to carefully check this out as you can hear that is the counterweight to help balance out the the optical tube assembly I haven't got I have not ordered my optical tube assembly right now I plan to do some wide field astrophotography with my Canon T6 I've been doing my astrophotography on my tripod here and I've been getting some pretty good shots at about 25 seconds per frame. Uh, but I'm really excited now to see what my pictures are going to look like tracked. So I'm anticipating some beautiful pictures. So anyway, this is the counterweight right here. And I'll just uh, set that right over here like so. Okay. And again, this is the box that came in. So, and let's see what else we have in the box here. Very exciting day. I've been doing a lot of research, and I know this is the amount that I need to start with. And the, again, the, the tech support at High Point, have, the, the guys there have been really great. Okay, let's see what we have in the box here. Thank you. Looks like we have the, oh, this is the uh, power supply for the, the power supply for the, I do believe this is the power supply for the mount, so I'll just set that aside. This is the box it came in? Like right here, yes, that's the box it came in, so I'll put that right there. Let's check that out. Looks like it's meant to be charged from a car battery. And so as you can see, here's the, the, that. The AC adapter. AC adapter, exactly. So we'll put that like that. And let's see what else is in the box. We can take a good video of what's in the box. Like that. like the the bracket that holds the hand controller and okay. so here is this is, looks like the bracket that holds the something we'll find out what that is in a minute we'll put that right there oh this might be the bracket that holds the hand controller so, as you can see here, it looks like it fits right down in there like so. I'll put that over here as well. I do plan to get um, 
probably an Explore Scientific 80 uh, EDAPO. That's the scope I've had my eye on to so get, get good wide field astrophotography with that. Gets a lot of good reviews. It's a carbon fiber 80 EDAPO uh, that I had my eye on, but I just want to get used to the tracking first with my T6. So that's why I thought it was. Dad, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Let's go ahead and aim the. Uh, aim it down this way. This feels pretty heavy. I'm guessing this is the actual tracking mount itself, the computerized head. Okay. Let's see. Okay. If I recall, I've looked at several videos um, on this mount, and it's not terribly difficult to put together. It goes together. Pretty simply, and in terms of the operation, it looks pretty simple to operate too. Now, I'm a novice in terms of two star alignment. I've done some polar aligning with my old um, Newtonian reflector that I used to have, so I gained some knowledge on how to polar align with that, and I also gained some knowledge on right ascension and declination. But here we can see is the 40,000 object database hand controller, and so my guess is. This fits in here like so, and so it does, as you can see here, okay? So far, so good. We'll put that right here. So far, everything's been packaged very well. Everything looks like it's really good quality. And we'll just put this here. And then as you can see here, here's the actual computerized tracking head. And the part that you know tracks the the object in the sky and let's take a look closer look at that I'm put this back in the box here very exciting day and I've been like I said I've been anticipating uh, getting into the good astrophotography gear for a few months now and this is my first you know besides the DSLR which I was very excited about as well um, my first purchase that I'm very, very, very excited about. Okay, so what I need to do here is just lift this out. Now, this foam here fits into the case that came with the mount. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. This looks like the shaft that the, uh, um, that the counter balance weight goes on. And it goes on pretty simply, actually, so we'll just set that down right here for now. Okay. And that'll come in a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Like I said, everything is very well packaged. Okay, let's put that down here, like so. I think these are, this is the, um, what helps secure the, the dovetail plate on the top of the mount. So that'll be one of the, um, those here. Let's just put that here. And let's see what else we have here. Okay, so I think the next logical step is to get the tripod out and then to put the head on the tripod. So we're going to do that next. Okay, we believe this is the tripod. I'm going to find my knife here. So I'm going to take this out like so. And yes, it is the tripod. Let me do the other side. Okay, here we go. Okay. Red one. Okay, so let's 
Let's set up the tripod. Let's take the tripod out. It's a pretty sturdy tripod. I think it's two inch diameter steel legs here. And it's got to be strong because the capacity, the weight capacity for the mount is 30 pounds. So it's got to be able to withstand some pretty heavy duty um, equipment. This looks like the accessory tray here. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, and this is the accessory tray. Let's set that over here. The other hardware. Okay, and then let's just sort of put some things back in the box here, just to clear some area. Just so it's good and protected. We'll do that. That's the counterweight again. All right. I think we got everything out of the box. Can we get everything out, Ben? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that back in there. Let's sort of get this out of the way. Okay. Put that in there. Okay. So let's continue setting up the steel tripod. So this is the steel tripod here. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to get, I know I'm going to get a refracting telescope, but it'll pro I'm really looking very closely at the Explore Scientific carbon fiber, either 80 millimeter EDAPO or the 102 EDAPO, EDAPO refracting uh, telescope. So that's, those are the, the uh, OTAs I have my eye on right now. So as you can see, the tripod um, sets up pretty easily here, like so. I'll just put that right here. Okay, how's that? Are we good? Even we, we can restart. Okay, Dad. Video's going. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm extending the legs out a little bit on the tripod, just just kind of you know get a starting point here in terms of it's not by balanced yet by any means but certainly part of the process will be to balance the tripod okay so the next step here make it a little more I think we're good what do you think Ben mm -hmm. that's not, looks pretty good it's good for eyeballing it okay so looks like next Oh, thank you. Looks like we need to take some more packaging off. Here. Okay. Let me get go over and get the exacto knife. Right over here. Okay, so let's show them the packaging really good. I just have to cut the packaging off here. Very exciting. Very exciting moment right now. Again, people at High Point Scientific, uh, outstanding. I ordered this thing Friday. And here it is on Wednesday, just real fast um, shipping. And it was free too, shipping was free. So outstanding. Okay, so the next step now will be to put the accessory tray on. I believe it should just, I think it just, uh, let's see. There we go. I think this just comes off like so. Okay, it's a washer there. And this should just fit on like so. And then I believe this just goes on. I got a very simple assembly. I mean, it's pretty into It's pretty simple, straightforward common sense type of assembly. What's going on here? I think we got it. There we go. Yeah, I like it because you can adjust the height like so. Okay, that just floats like so. You can put your eyepieces here if you're into visual astronomy, which I am. I like visual, but I'm more into uh, astrophotography. 
Okay. All right, so the next step would be to, I believe, mount this. We'll fi find out how that goes on in a minute. But uh, let's go ahead and stand up in so we can show everyone uh, how to put the, the tracking mount on. Okay. So this is the this is really the brainchild of the operation here. This is the the actual tracking mount head here. Very sturdy construction, and it's got um, it's got auto guiding, periodic error correction. Uh, it's really a solid, well built, solid. This is the tracking head itself, which goes right here. Okay. Goes right there. It just kind of fits right on like so. And then maybe this just goes right on the tank like so. snug up to the accessory tray okay and let's see I believe that's basically it so and then if we go back here we can see where oh this is where the polar scope goes for polar aligning right here So, and then I think this goes on like so, but anyway, we'll figure out, uh, let's see, oh, now I know, this goes on here. Let's get a good lock, a, a look at what the mount looks like. Okay, and again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the unboxing of the Celestron Advanced VX Equatorial Mount. Let's go ahead and put the, the counterweight on just so you can see what that looks like. This is the counterweight. And it goes on here. And this would just slide on like so. And then you would lock this down onto the shaft. And then you'd secure it at this end here. Oops. I forgot to lock this leg down. There we go. There we go. That keeps the, the counterweight from falling off. But so this is again the hand controller. And that has the 40. This is where you do your two and three star alignment. Uh, it's got the next star system in it. And it's got the 40,000 object database. Just, uh, uh, so again, the Celestron Advanced VX Equatorial Mount. Thanks for watching everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. Clear, dark skies.